Good morning, prayer partners. On October the 25th, 1976, a young woman comes to a hospital with her first baby. It's a girl. This older daughter is giving birth to another oldest daughter. As I stand outside of the newly constructed Women's Hospital in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I'm reminded and I'm ready to celebrate a week of my sister's birthday. Now, she was not born on October 25th. She was born on October the 26th. When she was born to the late Paul Adams Jr. and Betty Jean McCann Adams. She was loved at first sight. The amazing gift of children, the amazing gift of their life, their joy, the wonder and the miracle of having a healthy baby, the joy of their toes and their fingers, the noises, to hear them cry for the first time. Only a magnificent, awesome, wonderful God can bless us with such awesome treasures. When you see grandparents see their grandbabies for the first time, the awesome miracle that God has allowed their child to have a child. Oh, how it rips people apart when they can't see the baby, can't be there. That was not the case in 1976. Back then, they didn't find out until the baby came. And as soon as the baby came, there were no complications. The babies got to go home and be celebrated by the entire family. And oh my, Mamie Louise Adams Williams was celebrated, was spoiled, was blessed to be born into the Adams family. At the same time, my sister was born the day after the 27th, my cousin was born. And so the family grew exponentially. In one week's time, two babies arrived, a girl and a boy. I am grateful for the awesome wonder of October because not only was my sister born in this month, my best friend, my best friend's daughter was born this month, another sister of mine, uh, Val and her husband, Steve, and also their beautiful mother, Alberta Parker. And she's also my beautiful mother, Alberta Parker. So many awesome people are born in the month of October. And as the sun rises, we give God all the glory for his goodness and his mercy. Now life may start at the hospital and sometimes life may end at the hospital. But what we are grateful for today is that we still have life in this life. But soon and very soon, we will have life eternal with our Father in heaven. So rejoice with me this week. Celebrate me this week with, with me this week. The wonderful expression of love that I give to my sister Mamie. I may not be the oldest daughter, and I may not be the only child, but I am the only sister <laughs> she has by birth. <laughs> and I love her dearly. Here's a special birthday prayer for you, my beautiful sister. Heavenly Father, as I stand at the newly constructed women's hospital, I'm reminded of the old woman's hospital where my sister, myself and brother both were born. 
We thank you, God, that the sun rose of that day that our mother gave birth to us. We're so grateful that we've been able to live lives with ups and downs, ins and outs. So grateful for our life, strength, health, and daily bread. Oh Lord, I'll get into more this week, but it was such a joy to have that bundle of Mamie that first day she was here. To see her brown eyes and beautiful brown skin. To know that a precious gift was given. And we thank you, God, for all you're doing and all you have done from that day to this day. We'll celebrate her actual birthday tomorrow. But God, I thank you for the day before, for the preparation and for the labor, for the pains and for the aches, and for the travail of every mother and for the support of every father. As children come into this world, but we also pay homage to children that did not make it. And we give a moment of silence for them. Lord, continue to be blessed in our bodies. Continue, God, to help us celebrate one another, especially our sisters and brothers, those who hold us, care for us, as life journey continues to go. Help us to not to forsake, hallelujah, the assembly of family. And Lord, I pray against any power and principality that will come against my sister, Mamie Louise Adams Williams, by the power of the Holy Spirit and in Jesus name, amen. Have a wonderful day prayer partners and as always, enjoy Jesus.